We are all familiar with traffic tickets, red light camera tickets, even speeding tickets, but there's a new fine that could be coming your way as well. Yeah, it all has to do with how noisy your car is on the road. And as Fox Size Richard Giacoba shows us, some Connecticut lawmakers want to be able to punish you for it. It's really loud and obnoxious. If you drive that noisy car, you have the kind of car that backfires or has a really loud muffler, well, you may get a fine if it's too loud. It's a case of having cars that are disruptive to their lives, to their, to, their, to their health, to their sleep. New legislation in the Connecticut state bonding package passed last week would allow police in the Constitution state to use sound cameras that can identify noisy cars, snap a photo if the decibel reaches a certain level, and mail them a ticket. I was approached by a lot of constituents um, who are complaining about the different noise levels um, in their neighborhoods. Congressman Bobby Gibson pushed the legislation, calling it a quality of life issue for residents in the state who have been complaining about loud noise from exhaust pipes or even deafening stereos. Under the new law, municipalities will be able to use automated listening devices, which would catch cars running over 80 decibels. That's equivalent to the same level of noise as a vacuum cleaner. But not everyone is in favor of this new technology. Executive Director of the National Motorist Association, Jay Bieber, calls it discriminatory to black and brown communities. For you know somebody who is low income, that could be a substantial hit to their income, you know, maybe make it impossible for them to pay rent that month or, or to put food on the table. And that's the unfortunate thing with automated enforcement. It's a quality of life issue that, you know, People have to figure out for themselves. I mean, enough of it to be annoyed by it, but what could I just go back to sleep? Congressman Gibson says he's waiting on Governor Ned Lamont to sign the legislation into law. If he does so, then each driver who gets caught by a sound camera would first get a warning in the mail and then for their repeat offenses at up to $250 fine. But it's important to note that not every town or city in Connecticut will be equipped with this new technology. It's up to each municipality to adopt the law. We're in Greenwich, Connecticut. Richard Chikovis, Fox 5 News.